Welcome to Tomahawk DIY, everyone. Today we're going to take a look at cleaning the CCD uh, cover on this Panasonic, Panasonic Lumix camera. It's a pretty straightforward and easy process. Um, you'll know you, that uh, you've got a problem when you start have, if you start having pictures that have these black spots, uh, kind of like this one here. Um, that suggests that there's uh, some dust or debris that's found its way snuck back behind these different crevices with the lens that goes in and out and gotten sucked in uh, to get on the cover for your CCD. So I will warn you, um, this can damage your camera if uh, anything goes wrong and you'll certainly vo void your warranty. So uh, if you decide to try this, you do so at your own risk. Um, but it is a fairly straightforward process and uh, you can do it if you have a little bit of uh, patience and technical know-how and willing to give it a try. So proceed at your own risk. Um, to work with, you're going to want a precision screwdriver. Here's a nice little set. You can pick these up at uh, lots of different stores. There's a link below to Amazon if you'd like to get one there. Um, Q-tip, tweezers, a lint-free cloth may all be helpful. So let's get started. You want to get your memory card and your battery out of the uh, out of the camera to make sure you don't have any kind of uh, issues that occur with that and then we need to take these small screws out um, I'm using a size a size zero uh, screwdriver tip a Phillips screwdriver uh, Once you've got these screws removed, you can get the back separated and slide this off. Use care in that process. Depending on the exact make of your camera, there may be some ribbon cables attached in the back. Um, this particular one, the, you can see the ribbon cable right there, but the, uh, uh, the screen doesn't come off with it. I believe there's some clips here that we're going to be popping off next. This is a little different than some of the other ribbon cables. Usually there's a usually there's a simple way to clip and unremove and remove the ribbon cable to actually pull the whole screen off, but this one doesn't have it. So once we're in here, we've got some more screws that we need to take off to get behind uh, this cover. Remember to go slowly. If you buy a screwdriver with magnetic um, tips, that'd be even uh, would be helpful. It's uh, something I don't have here. All right. Let's see what we've got under this. So as we lift this up, here's a, the CCD or, or the lens over the CCD. I've got these springs kind of bounced around. There are two springs in here, so I need to make sure those go back in the right spot. All right, so I've gotten my uh, these two springs cleared off. I'm going to go ahead and use um, use this cotton swab needs to work on cleaning this puppy do the same thing over here All right, and that's it. So let's see if we can get these springs back. Get the springs back in their place. Not 
sure that I have this one right. Yeah, that feels about better. All right, with the springs back in place, let's see if we can put this back down. Again, a magnetic, magnetic tip on the screwdriver would be helpful here. These tweezers can get us there. Well, that picture looks pretty good. The black spots are gone. Um, the camera still took a picture, which is a good thing. So it appears we've successfully cleaned the, uh, the sensor cover on this Panasonic camera. It's, again, if you decide to try this, do so at your own risk. Use care and caution. But uh, you can, you've seen one process on how it worked for this camera. Other Panasonic cameras are fairly similar. There's maybe some differences in the screw orientation or where cables are, things of that nature, but the basic process is the same. Thanks for watching Tomahawk DIY, everyone. Have a great day.